It takes commitment and patience to canvass for votes in the Moroccan town of Saleh. It's becoming really hard to convince people just to trust us as a youth. Sofian Ferez is one of four first-time candidates in Morocco's elections who came of age during the Arab Spring more than a decade ago. They believe little has changed, a view, it seems, shared by the people they're trying to persuade to vote. They don't believe in the elections itself and all this theater of the elections. They are like tired of it. They are all times like see the same people, the same people getting elected, old people corrupted, like, like symbolize the corruption in Saleh. More than half of people in Morocco believe corruption has got worse in the last 12 months, according to Transparent International. But critics say it's hard to tackle when there's no accountability at the top. We continue to live in an exceptional despotism. For example, we say that it is essential to discuss the budget of the royal palace. We are against a budget we can't talk about. We say that the king should not be at the center of political life because those that are should be accountable to the public. King Mohammed VI appoints the government and those who don't toe the line don't get very far. Rashid Auraz from Morocco's Institute for Policy Analysis believes many people in Morocco have watched closely what's happened in neighboring countries since the Arab Spring. There is a majority of young voters who won't vote because they're not convinced by the way the game is played now. But don't forget that if one day we do manage to master the game, we manage to control the elites and the street, perhaps they'll be convinced that we should go back to a much stronger autocracy. These young politicians believe there is appetite for change despite the risks. We must have another referendum for a new constitution because in our current one there are many political and constitutional imbalances. If we get a majority in parliament, we would apply strong pressure for real constitutional reforms. The system designed to stop any party getting a majority, such radical policies are unlikely to get very far. Getting into government in Morocco is all about building coalitions and keeping the palace on side, which is why sometimes it's difficult to find any major policy differences between the parties. More than 10 years after the Arab Spring, many here are disappointed that there aren't real, genuine electoral choices. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Rabat.